Hi everyone, um, we're back in uh, Keir Smith land. Um, we are uh, doing an insulated bottle carrier today. You wouldn't believe how much um, kerfuffle uh, it's been. I've been tearing my hair out. So in the end, the pair of us sat down and worked out the maths and everything. Um, I made one when we went away last year. I made a beach bag because I wanted a beach bag and then there was fabric left over so I made a bottle ca carrier and when we went away then the end of the year Dave managed to leave it behind at the ice cream stand and it was never seen again well trying to remember how I made it was just just you know so you know, it's like, oh I can't do this so anyway we've worked it out I think so um first thing today is deal of the day um and i've got to say how much it was going to be i think it'd probably be it's quite a big panel look so um is your mother come in with a comment yet saying um i would imagine it was 12 pound to begin with so deal of the day we'll do it at nine you should be there going no not nine yeah we're gonna do it at nine nine pound so it's a a book it's a soft book it's called bear says thanks so the full instructions are here on the on the side going down I mean it's cut like that because I cut it in the wrong place sorry Alex I'm going too fast um, and then you have all the pages so the biggest page is page eight I think there you go, she says six pound. Six pound, ooh, you are being spoilt today. Well, I think we've got about six of them left. Okay, so Sarah is going to put them on the website. Um, and um, so that's our deal of the day, okay? Um, so I'm gonna put this away because I don't know what else to tell you about it except that it's really cute. And I'm sorry that we don't have one that's finished in order to show you. So, there's our deal of the day. Right. So, who's there? Is anybody there? Was it just mm. your mum? No, it was 23 people watching. There's Claire, Hello. Wendy, Dave's there, Kate, Tina. Have you tidied up, Wendy? And got your cup of tea? That's everyone who's commented so far. Oh, hiya, Dave. I can see all their portraits. So is Dave saying anything about me dobbing him in, uh, leaving it behind? Not yet. No. Yeah, I probably asked him for his wallet and that's why he put it down in order to get his wallet out and um, we just didn't pick it up after the ice cream. So I bought a bottle of lemonade today to uh, show you how to do this, um, but I've left it over in the shop because I'm in Sarah's room and it's raining and I'm not going back. So I'm going to talk you through it, okay? So you get your bottle. Now the lemonade bottle, where is it? There we are. Might be slightly different, but I've tried to make it so that you can get a fat one in as well. So you need to find out what the circumference of the bottle is. Yeah, this one's a little bit wider. So this one's coming up at 13, okay? And you also need to know the height of your bottle okay and um pretty much you can go from there then all right so we are going to add we're going to add three to the length which will then help you with all your um your seam allowances and turning it up and we're going to add one and a half to your circumference so that it becomes a um you've got room for um your seam allowance and room to be moving the bottle in and out however we do the top so that you don't have to um you don't have to keep taking it in and out and it's surprising it i mean it's just a bit of insulated wadding there's no i mean you could put cool um doodars in the bottom 
but there's no um it, but it keeps your your water when you're on holiday i mean we were we were in um crete it's the I, we were in crete and it was really hot and um it was st the water was still cool at the end of the day than it was at the beginning so we were really quite happy with it um so i've cut them out ready you're going to cut your um you're going to cut your um your wadding at 15 no you're not you're going to cut it at 18 and 15 there was a 15 i knew there was then you're going to quilt it now i've just i just started in one corner quilted turned it let it run and i just done a complete um crazy quilting i mean it's i i choose to quilt the inside because i didn't want it quilted on the outside so i chose to quilt the inside you could do it the other way around if you wanted to and quilt the outside um so i've uh quilted it and then you cut it down i mean you you tend to cut bigger um when you're quilting because sometimes it'll suck it up or distort or whatever so you cut it down afterwards so I've cut this at uh, 17 by 14 and I've cut my outside at 17 by 14 and then we have the extra piece which is going to go on the top with the drawstring in it and uh, I've cut this at 4 by 14 okay so any questions no, nothing's coming through. Right, we're going to start the sewing then. We're going to sew all three of these into a tube. All right, but you want to be doing it so that your your fourteen is your circumference. So you're going to um, fold it short edge edge to short edge. Okay, that makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to use, um, come over by you, I'm going to use edge of foot um, because quarter of an inch is not really going to give it the stability you need, which is why I've given you um, a, a one and a half seam allowance. Now I would um, back, back stitch top and bottom okay because you're going to be manipulating it around all right so we're going to just put this in so any questions then Alex I mean it's silly how uh, it's all all of a sudden it's gone um, uh, cloudy decide to do this and it all goes cloudy now I don't think there's a right way and a wrong way to do this insulating because it looks pretty similar on both sides and it's got like metal in it so this is why we don't use it for anything that's going to go through um, anything that's going to go through a uh, um, what my thing that cooks things microwave um, because it's got metal in it okay those bowl cozies you could have used this as well um, which would keep it um, warmer but then you you've got to definitely make sure you don't put it in the microwave okay so what's everybody got planned for this uh this week this weekend we got anything um sarah's in work on monday but then she's got a week off so i'll be in charge ha. um so we're gonna have um we might have a sale we might do a uh while the cat's away sale 
um, and see how you. F oh, we didn't do the bottom. Right, when you get down to the end of there, turn it and go around the bottom as well. You want it to be uh, a proper tube. Okay, Let's go along to the bottom as well. Just like that. Okay, so I'm just going to put the bottom in on this one. Okay, I keep forgetting that you've got to put the the uh, the foot down, or it goes down automatically. I thought it used to come up automatically as well. Too many buttons. Right, so we now have our two tubes. Okay, so we're now going to box the corners. What's that? Camera just flipped for some reason. Oh, what we were looking at you. Got a nice shot of my beard there. <laughs> it's a good beard. It's coming along quite nicely. Right, we are going to box the corners. Right, come here. Come here. So what you want to do is you're going to take your uh, your edge here, okay? And we're going to open it out like this somehow. And you want to put this edge against this seam. Now Sarah's told you this umpteen times, okay? So you you can feel roughly. It's better when it's two seams because you can feel them meeting together, okay? So so you get that boxed-in corner, and we're going to measure it two inches. Do it that way. Right, different ruler to the one I've got at home. So where are we? That's one, one, two. Right. So I'm going to put the two inches at the top of my seam and measure down. So at the top of there, line it up with a uh, line on your ruler, and then we are going to a line. I'm going to draw a line there. Okay, like that. Then we're going to uh, sew on that line. All right. So, put down. Mind your finger. That iron's too big, sir. You need a new one. <laughs> Right. Where's the small one today? Uh, it, oh, no. it broke. It broke yesterday. Okay. So now you can see that we've made a corner. All right. Now these are going to sit, we're going to try and nest them inside your um, inside your, your bottle carrier. So we're going to do that with this one. Where am I? There we are. Okay. Right, any comments there while I'm faffing with this? Um, there was one, what's the lining fabric, but Sarah answered that. Oh. Yeah, I mean, people that know me will know that I use a lot of batiks. I mean, the brighter the fabric for me, the better. So I'm lining that line up there, along there. Um, they, uh, 
they just I just love them I like the fact that they're rarely an inside and an outside however that does get confusing sometimes so I'm going to sew that there uh, down. Now there is a button on this machine to make it do backwards and forwards automatically. It looks off big. I think that one is going to that one doesn't look right. Oh I don't know. Maybe it should have gone over there. Yeah, it looks like I've um I'm just gonna oh, so the outside. We can't just do that. Sorry, I'm gonna have to uh unpick. So anything to talk about to, the next week with Sarah being off she's going to be here on the Monday um, and then you've got me then for the rest of the week we're going to do Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday Friday we have no cameraman so um, so we won't be doing a Friday um, because otherwise we'd have to get Linda to do it um, and then there's the problem of covering the shop and everything so we're going to um not do friday next week okay um you never know if it's quiet in the shop i'll take you around the shop that might be an idea and it won't matter then um i'm sure you've all got dingalings that come on i'll um i'll let you know if i'm going to do it uh i'll let you know on thursday if we're going to do, do that right it just seemed very big. Is it because I took my eye off the ball and it lined it? Oh, I didn't line it up properly. That's what it is. Didn't line it all up. I did when I drew it. Let's stick a pin in it this time, shall we? There we go. Okay, let's try this again. Oh. Well, I don't know where the sun went. Did you see that I, local people, I don't know how far uh, away the storm went, but the electric storm yesterday was amazing to watch. Um, there was just, it was because of the clouds it just sort of lit the clouds up and it was just a constant rumble there was hardly any claps of thunder it was just just went on and on okay does that look about right yeah that's about right so we're going to go with this one as well we're going to do exactly the same with this one so you start with the seamed bit you pull pull it out okay just pull it apart and line your seams up okay so you would do this with a bag or um, any of the pouches that we've done if you want it to have a wider bottom so that it fits in with the rest of us then um, this is what you would do so I'm going to pin this because it's really fighting against me Christina asked uh, what are you making please joined after you'd started that's all right we're making a an insulated bottle carrier um, for uh, going to the beach and keeping your uh, your pop or your water water is better for you um, other pops are available um it it um it, it keeps it cool all day um i wish i'd had this when we went to mexico 
because uh, we went to Chichen Itza for the day and I didn't, obviously didn't drink enough water. I can't remember. I thought I was wearing, vaguely remember me wearing a hat, but I got very dehydrated and, and I keep telling Dave I almost died. And again in Crete one holiday. I've been to Crete a lot. We like Crete. Okay, so I've drawn that in and I've pinned and I've done both so that it's quicker this time. Okay, so we're going to uh, put the boxed corners in on this. able to um, keep trying to remember which buttons to press okay so we've done that bit we've done our box okay so we now have our boxed ends and that doesn't look it is. You'll have more time when you're doing this. Right, so with this one now, our little piece, we're going to sew it we're going to put them short, short edges together and I'm going to pin this so that you can see where I'm going to sew. Okay. Working out where the hole is going to go. That's what I'm doing now. Okay, so I'm going to fold that down and then I'm going to fold it over like that. Okay, so I'm going to sew now from here to there, back stitch, then I'm going to back stitch and sew to the end, back stitch. Well, you don't need to because you're going to fold that in there, but I want a hole here. Okay, so back over to the thin machine now this you could do at quarter of an inch if you wanted to um, I'm just going to take it slightly in so are you all with me so far sorry there we go any more questions one of them was could you please move the iron <laughs> <laughs> Your wish is our command. Okay, so put that there. I thought that used to raise up. Your mother's been pressing buttons. Okay, so, so we're going to go forward. Then I'm going to back stitch a bit and then finish the bit off. Okay, so we now have this little tube. So we're going to turn it the right way out. Bear with me while I remember all of this. And then we're going to turn a bit of a hem in. Okay. See, this seems wrong to me that we're not doing it before. Okay, so I'm going to turn it in a quarter of an inch. Probably worth ironing this bit in before you sew it so that you've already got your lines. Okay, so you're going to sew that like iron that like that so that goes in and then you're going to fold it again I could do it the other way Duff. I 
I get there in the end. I'm a bit daft, but I get there in the end. Right, so you're going to fold this down again now. What you want is... It seems too far down. What you want is this, this hole. I think I've left too big a... Um, not too big a gap, but too big a, a thingy at the top. That's all right. We'll work with this. We'll work with this. Okay, so I folded that down because what we're after is that gap there. Fold that seam out in. It's a bit like the drawstring bags that Sarah did. That's what we're aiming for, is that type of thing. Okay. So we're gonna go to there. So we're going to top stitch, so if you pin on there, fold it all like that. So the shop's been quite quiet today. Um, we've had uh, one lady came in and picked up her, uh, her stuff ready for... Um, Cut and press on Saturday. No, cut and press is next Thursday. Well, we've got this Saturday. We've got the all squared up. There's still time to get on that one because um, it just requires a pattern. Okay. And we're going to take this off here. Okay. Okay, so we're going to top stitch around. I'm going to use edge of foot only just fits there um, but I'm going to use the um, the edge of of here this is where the um, the fold is there so I'm going to do it mostly with fingers I'm going to start here at the um, at the opening okay um, and I'm going to come forward a bit and then back stitch. I'm going to keep my edge of foot there. Just open it. What we're going to do is we're going to put a drawstring in this, okay? So that you can close the top. Okay, uh, there we go. Sorry, I hesitate because I'm remembering. See, and now we have a hole here for us to put our drawstring in. Now we're going to uh, put it together. This is the interesting bit. Let's put that over there. Out right, your way. Right, you want to keep your inside with your fabric on the inside. Okay? We're going to turn it and just put a bit of an eye increase in there. Okay?
It's alright, we had about three different versions today. I just remember which one which one we decided on in the end. Okay. So we've got a bit of a fold in there. Now we're going to turn this one the right way out. Alright. So we want those to sit in. Yeah, those in, and we're going to slot this in, feed that in there, okay? So we're going to put the lining inside your outside as it would be, okay? So you're going to pull it up. And you're going to find your seam and you try and get them so that they're basically together. So you've got your boxed, see your boxed seam uh, bottom there? So you've folded that one in, folded your lining so that it it's a neat edge inside and then you're going to fold your outside to meet it okay like that now good thing another good thing about batiks is that they do finger finger press well so you're folding this under all the way around now with time you probably go through and um, do it, m measure it, and do it. I'm doing it by finger. Any questions or statements or anything? Mm. Not really, since the shop question. Since the shop question? Yes, yeah, Sandra asked uh, why are you doing it? Uh, in the studio and not in the shop and then mum answered yeah it's easier here and less noise that's true that's true right we're now going to take the other tube that we made the bit with the um the hole in the seam and we're going to put this i don't know how is that so different might have done this all upside down. So maybe it's, it'll work. It'll work, but that, yeah, it should go in. Don't understand why that seems so small. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the raw edge so that it sits inside these two pieces. So. so I'm certain I cut it the other way up. Right, where's my pin? I'm going to fit that in there, okay? Like that. And then we're just going to go round and sit it inside. Okay. What plans have you got this weekend then, Alex? This weekend. Not sure. Sit around. Sit around. <laughs> the boys are all working now, aren't they? So there's no uh, games. Have you got um, any games going on? Danny's starting a new campaign. Uh, yeah, we got. Uh, me and Drew have got a Sunday. Well, actually, no, we don't have D&D &D this Sunday. 
We won't have it next Sunday because you're away. Yeah, we have it three weeks time because Sam and Jake are on holiday as well. Oh, I miss going on holiday. We managed to, um, I spent last week painting fences and gates. Well, one gate, one fence. Um, I have to be honest, my kids have been amazing. They've helped us. We've got a house in Barry that's up for rent. And uh, we've been uh, trying to get it so that it's fit to go back on the market. So um, my kids have been brilliant at helping me out, helping us out. Right, so this, for some reason, because everything was measured within an inch of its life, but for some reason this has ended up a lot bigger. So I'm going to put some tucks in it. Um, what did I do with all those pins? You'll get the general idea of this. We'll write a pattern so that it all uh, it'll work better. Right. What we're going to do is we're going to put this. We need to put the uh, straps on as well. So where's my uh, where's my thing? So what you want to do then is take your strapping, your webbing, okay, and we're going to put that in there too. Alright. <laughs> Tom's angry. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's going to go in there. Yeah, I don't know where... I'm not quite sure what's gone on there. I seem to have more fabric than uh, the little one. So we're just going to put a tuck in there and um, I'll just show you how we're going to do it. Okay, I'm getting hot and bothered now. Okay, there we go. There's not a lot of blood on there. And we're going to put that in there so you so that it becomes a crossbody thing okay this is where we have the problems i wanted it to be one one strap rather than two straps so okay so what you're going to do now is you're going to stop top stitch around here okay so it's a little bit of a squeeze, but it should go on. Yeah, so. There we go. Alright. So again, I'm going to use uh no I'm not. I'm gonna come out a bit. I'm going to use I'm using the the foot with the clear bit in the middle, so I'm gonna use the edge of here for it. Now the best thing with uh webbing is to go over it then reverse over it and go back. I'm going to take this up a bit and then you're just going to take yourself all the way round.
putting pleats in it as we go. There's a lot of um, fabric here now. So um, take your time and keep going gently. I've turned the uh, speed down from the machine. It keeps me uh, in check then. I'm just going to put another pleat in there. I'm going to end up with a pleat underneath. Just keep inching it round. Okay. So when you put the strap through, you want to put it so that it's level. I've increased the stitch length on this because of the amount of fabric that I'm going through. See, like I say, when I did this at home, before I went on holiday, I did it the night before I went on holiday and it was like, so it was probably a bit of a Sarah Jane thing where I, um, I pieced it together bit by bit. Um, didn't go back over that so you would go back over that then you would so this is what we have at the moment okay so it's going to go over so it sits like this you're, you're carrying it like that <laughs> making Alex work today so a bit of cord and you're going to thread it through there. I've got a safety pin on it. I think at home I've got like a bobbin thing that they use. Um, but I've never been very successful with it. So I always go back to the uh, safety pin. Is the temperature already gone? Has it gone up again? It feels like it. Okay. Might just be the heat from the iron. It could be, couldn't it? Because I'm getting a nice, a nice wash yeah. of it. <laughs> so you can knot your ends so that you get fluffy ends but without them uh, like that. And then your bottle should go in here. <laughs> okay. So your bottle goes in and then you tie the top like that. Okay. Now it works better if you make this the same size as this. Okay. And there you have the insulated bottle carrier. Any questions? Uh, no, not that's shown up for me. No. So news, um, we are back tomorrow. Sarah's back tomorrow. Um, we did discuss whether or not we were going to put another raffle on, so that might go on on Sunday. So uh, keep an eye out for a, a notice for that. Um, I'm back Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So Tuesday we're going to do um, a crochet beanie. Um, but we're going to go from the top down. Okay. Now that's interesting. Um, I will show you. I'll bring photos. I'll have a photo printed out of uh, Dave the first time I made him a hat. And we'll go from there. Um, there's block of the week on Wednesday. And I can't remember what I was doing the next day. I can't remember. I think it's uh, fabric letters. 
So uh, I'll see you Tuesday. Sarah will be back tomorrow. Okay. Take care. Bye.